Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a Victoria's Secret Angel inspired makeup look and I'm going to be using all drugstore products to achieve this look which is definitely something that I haven't done on my channel yet and that's been long overdue. So um, stay tuned for the end of the video where I'm going to be showing you guys also how to achieve these Victoria's Secret um, inspired curls as well. So we're going to um, go ahead and get started and the first thing that I'm going to do is actually mix two foundations. Um, I'm going to be mixing the Revlon Photo Ready in Vanilla and also the Maybelline Dream Nude Air Foam Foundation in Sand Beige. Or sorry, Sun Beige, my bad. <laughs> and I'm just going to be using a Real Techniques brush to buff that in. Next I'm using the Revlon Color Stay Blemish Cover Concealer in Light and this I'm going to be using both to conceal and highlight under my eyes and the center of my face since a lot of the angels have a very luminous, um, very glowy, very highlighted appearance to their skin. I'm going to be recreating that by using a lighter concealer in the areas I want to highlight my face. And I'm just going to be buffing that out with a 130 brush. So um, just concentrating in those areas. The next thing I'm going to use is this e.l.f. Complexion Perfection with a 129 fluffy powder brush just to set those areas. And then we're going to go in to bronze the skin because Victoria's Secret models have very bronzy, glowy, sun-kissed skin. So we're going to recreate that by using the um, NYC Sunny Bronzer. And I'm just using the same brush that I used to set my um, concealer with just to bronze the rest of my face. So I'm just going to go under the cheekbones, on the temples, and across my hairline as well. Next I'm going in with Maybelline's Dream Bouncy Blush and this is in Peach Satin and I'm just going to be blending this with my fingers onto the apples of my cheeks. The next product I'm going in with is Hard Candy So Baked Bronzer in Tiki and I'm going to be using a 168 brush just to blend this on the tops of my cheekbones and also down the center of my face. And then we're going to go in and fill in our eyebrows. I'm just going to be using an angled brush. I think this is the 163 by MAC. And um, I'm just going to fill them in a little bit thicker than I normally do but very naturally at the same time. So I'm just going to be using the e.l.f. Duo, the eyebrow duo in, or the eyebrow kit actually, it's called in dark, which is one that really, really does match my eyebrow co um, color. And I really, really like this stuff. I actually use it um, pretty often. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use two bases. We're going to be taking our first NYX jumbo eye pencil, and this is in cashmere, and we're putting that all over the eyelid and dragging some underneath the lash line as well. And then we're going to be taking the second color, which is cottage cheese. You can use milk if you want, but because they have a very highlighted inner corner, I wanted to use a white with shimmer in it. This is called cottage cheese. So we're going to be putting that on the inner corners and then also um, blending some underneath the brow bone, which you guys will see me do a little bit after this. But I'm just using a 217 to blend out all of that. So I'm going in with Chai Latte, the Maybelline Modern Metallics Quad, and I'm taking the first color, which is the base color, and I'm going to be applying it right on top of where I applied Cottage Cheese. And then we're going to go in with the crease color with a fluffy brush, and this is just a fluffy blending brush that we're going to um, apply this shadow with in the crease and dragging it slightly outwards. The reason why I'm dragging it slightly outwards is because I want to also drag the eyeshadow slightly upwards to create more of an almond shape to my eyes, which a lot of the Victoria's Secret um, makeup artists do to create a very sultry effect. So we're going to go in with a Victoria's Secret Precision Black Eyeliner and we're just going to draw a wing. This does not have to be precise at all. Um, you can make this pretty messy. So don't worry about it being absolutely perfect, but I'm just winging it out very far up and thickly towards the end and just stopping about two thirds of the way in. And then we're going to go in with the liner color that this quad is labeled, um, the shadow. 
and we're going to take a pencil brush and start to smudge out that eyeliner and then also slightly drag it inwards and upwards just like I did with the crease color. So I'm gonna go back in with that crease color in that same 224 and we're gonna further blend out this eyeshadow. And you can already tell um, just by using this technique how much the um, shape of my eye has kind of changed. But again, don't worry if this is looking a little messy because it's not supposed to be perfect. Then we're gonna go in with that same brush that I used to highlight the inner corners of my eyes and we're gonna apply the base color, which is a gold bronzy shade. And this is a 242 brush, it's just a small shader brush. And then I'm just going back and re-accentuating the highlight color. And then blending, blending, blending as usual. Next you're going to take a flesh tone eyeliner. This is a Rimmel Scandalized Eyeliner. And I'm just going to be lining my waterline with that. And then going back in with the black liner, just adding a little bit underneath the lash line to create a base for the liner shadow that we're going to be using from that quad again. So we're going to take that quad again in that same pencil brush that we used earlier and we're just going to be smudging out the liner. So this look is supposed to be very like soft, smoky, very sultry, kind of messy, but still really, really pretty. And then of course this step is optional, but I'm using the Creme 747 Long Lashes and then I'm just going to be applying those to my lash line. And of course you can opt out of this step, I just felt like it was necessary since you know, I'm trying to be an angel here, so I really want to make this um, as full effect as possible. Next, I'm going to go back in with that black liner, and I'm going to use a flat brush to actually take some product off of the liner and line my lash line to cover up the glue just to make it look a little bit more natural with the lashes of course so that we can hide the lash band and you can use a liquid liner for this if you want to make the liner a lot darker that's totally up to you and then I'm gonna go in with my waterproof falsies mascara and we're gonna be adding that to the top and bottom lashes this is one of my favorite mascaras of all time and I specifically only like the waterproof I don't really like the regular for some reason. I'm not really sure why. I just feel like it holds the curl of my lashes a lot longer throughout the day, so I just use the waterproof instead. And it stays put through anything and everything, which is awesome. And the last step for this makeup look is to apply our lipsticks. I'm mixing two lipsticks, Rimmel's New De Delight, ooh, I can't talk today, Rimmel's New Delight, and then I'm topping it off with NYX's Round Lipstick in Telia, and that's going to create a very natural, glossy lip. And now, we're going to start with our hair. So this is the um, part where I'm going to show you how to achieve these curls. Um, I did style my hair yesterday, but it's all like messy and gross looking So I'm just gonna go ahead and start by protecting my hand because I've had the worst uh, um, Luck with curlers and I'm gonna be taking my new me curler Which is a three-in-one curler and it's amazing and I'm taking the one and a half inch barrel And I'm literally just taking random sections of my hair and curling them away from my face so this part of, of course again you can see in a lot of the Victoria's Secret ads, their hair isn't perfectly curled. It's very messy. Um, but of course, you know, I wanted to make my hair not really necessarily look messy, but definitely not perfect. So we're not going to create perfect curls, which is why I wanted to use a larger barrel to achieve this look. So I'm using the left, uh, I'm doing the left side of my hair. Of course, it looks like it's the right side to you guys. But I'm just twirling mostly the ends of my hair just to keep the length of my hair. Of course, I have my, my extensions in as well, but um, I did cut my extensions so they look a lot more natural and I absolutely love them. So I'll put a link to where you guys can um, check them out down below. They are the extensions that I reviewed before by Marcos Venegas. 
and they are the Delilah hair extensions. But you can see, this is what the side looks like completed. So I'm just going to switch the glove to my other hand and do the exact same side, um, the exact same thing to this side, which is my right side now. So whenever you're doing um, curls and you want to curl them away from your face, you're going to want to take the barrel and actually point it downwards towards the floor and hold it kind of above your head and that's what's going to allow you to curl the hair away from your face. And you can see I'm not taking perfect sections and I'm not even curling every section of my hair either or every piece of my hair. So that's going to give us a very relaxed um, effect to the hair as well. So that's you know the kind of look I'm going for with this. And then for the bangs, what I do is I take um, the barrel and I actually run the barrel down the strand of hair. And of course, I did put that warning because I didn't realize that my bra was going to be exposed, but I wanted you guys to see the rest of the hair tutorial. So I'm just going to keep on sectioning off and curling my hair away from my face. I also should have mentioned this earlier, but I do apologize for the condition of my nails. I know that they are not really um, groomed very well, but I am currently in the process of um, allowing them to heal. And also I do have a bandaid on my thumb because I broke my nail and it's in so much pain. But as I mentioned earlier, this is the new Me 3-in-1 curler. I'm going to post a link down below on where you can find this curler if you wanted to purchase it. Okay, so this was the part that I was talking about with bangs. I'm just going to wrap it around like I would any section, but I'm literally just pushing the curler down through my hair. And that's what's going to give it that swoopy effect. You're just going to want to run your fingers through it just to loosen it up a little bit. And then that's it with the curler. We're done using the curler. We're just going to finish off with our Organics Argan Oil just to create a very luminous shine to the hair. So I'm just going to take a very small amount and just run it through the, mainly the bottom parts of my hair. And also through a little bit through the top, but mainly through the bottom. And then you're done with the hair. So here is a last look at the completed look. Yay, dramatic slow effects. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you guys want me to do more drugstore tutorials, please like this video and also comment down below and let me know what you thought. It was really, really easy. And yeah, just let me know if you have any questions. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe and click here to check out my new Facebook page. Um, if you have any time, please go ahead and like it and I will see you guys later. Bye.